A report card on cancer care in Ontario came out today. Overall, it shows that while strides have been made in the last 10 years, work still needs to be done. According to the Cancer Quality Council of Ontario for the Southwest Local Health Integration Network, which takes in London, improvements have been made since the previous data was reported in the area of cancer survival rates and the number of people getting colonoscopies after tests showed abnormal results. However, the report finds performance is worse in the areas of wait times for radiation and follow-ups of abnormal pap smear results. It's the shape of cancer care in the future. Smaller satellite clinics in local hospitals. Today, the Woodstock Hospital showcased its new chemotherapy clinic. Two and three. Breast cancer survivors Don Alexander and Ruth Baker helped officially welcome the new chemotherapy clinic. It's become a welcome respite during a tough time in their lives. You just become part of this amazing family that they have here in Woodstock and it feels really, really good. Don says having a nearby clinic rather than spending hours travelling to and from London has minimised disruption in her work and life. It just brings you back to more of a normal life rather than trying to worry about the cancer all the time. The clinic will be open five days a week and it will serve 270 patients a year. That translates into about three thousand visits. The clinic is for patients receiving standard chemotherapy care. More complex cases will still be treated at the London Regional Cancer Program. We have been certified in a certain number of drugs. Any patients that are included in that type of drug will be, can be treated here. Patients that are on research drugs, for example, that we will not see those patients because there are so many parameters that need to be watched and closely monitored. Not only do satellite clinics benefit smaller communities, they relieve pressure from larger cancer treatment centres. A lot of patients have to come to London because they ha we have some other specialised care that they have to get. But that creates a whole system capacity issue for us that we can't always meet things in a timely fashion. So it's about building that capacity so that, so that we can deliver better care for patients. The personal touch is apparent in the bell donated by Ruth's husband. It's a family heirloom that will be put to special use when Ruth receives her final chemo treatment. A mixture of joy and sadness, I think. I don't really know how I'm going to feel, but it's going to be a wonderful day. Ruth expects to ring the bell when she has her last chemo treatment in the final week of May.